Mark. Fakes the handoff, brings it on the near side, caught on the numbers, turns up field 45 40, 45 50 yard line, foot race down the near sideline, being chased 25 20, 15. It was just a quick little flip on the near sideline. O'Marion Miller. O'Marion Miller. Well, if you didn't know who number 14 was, that's O'Marion Miller, a young man out of Vivian, Louisiana. Big play after big play after big play, almost 200 yards receiving and a touchdown. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Buffalo Stampede. Coach Gary Barnett, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. A heck of a game. Bus fall 48-41 to USC. No moral victories, but wow, that was fun. That was fun, Mark. And uh, But at some point in time, you, you know, you, you tell your team, they can't beat you unless you help them. Yes, yes. Okay. Right, and, and we did. That's what happened with the state. We helped them. Yeah. yeah. And we got to quit helping. Them, right. You know, but still, I can't wait to see them play again. And I, and I know you're the same way, and I know they're the same way, just listening to those guys out there. And no one went on in the locker room. They can't wait to get out and play again and not help the next team. Yeah. They were outstanding. Amari and Miller, though. How about you identified him at fall camp? Gary at one point said to me, hey, this number 14 is pretty good, but he was buried behind so much talent. Wow, but he got us opportunity. He was. I, I did an interview before the season started, and and Romy says, uh, well, uh, who should we look for? And I said, well, O'Marion Miller, number 14. Well, he never played. Right. I said, well, yeah. let's see what I know. <laughs> but I thought he was outstanding in camp. We had so many guys yeah. that, that can play, and now he got his chance and put up the numbers. 194 yards is amazing the first game you play. Yep, big kid, six foot two, but 195, 200 pounds, and he made play after play. After play, we talked in a pregame about running the football. Colorado had not done that. 56 yards a game, 132nd in the country. They did. They committed to it, and they did so effectively in this game. They did, and you, you get what you emphasize, and they did, and that, and they got the run, and it helped them in the whole game. Afterward, we heard from Coach Prime after the bus fell 48-41 to USC. Presented by Coors Light. Coors Light, Mountain Cold Refreshment, made to chill. Celebrate responsibly. Wonderful game. Play the hearts out. I just addressed the team and told them that I love each and every one of them, and coaches included, because they were resilient. They did not give up when they had multiple opportunities to give up. They fought to the end. We sustained injuries. Next man up came in and did their thing. Marion played his butt off the thing. He had a buck 96 running game, showed his face, and you see how uh, better the offense flowed with the running game. We can't come out and make a surge and right before halftime, then we start saying, okay, we're in the game. Overall, I'm really proud of not only the young men, the coaches, the fan base, the student body, all of you. I'm, I'm truly proud of the way we represented Boulder today. I really am. Because we understand what's coming. If you can't see what's coming with CU football, you've lost your mind. You're just a flat-out hater if you can't see what's going on and what's going to transpire over the next several months. Coach Prime after the Buffalo's 48-41 loss to USC. We continue with Coach uh, Gary Barnett. How about the defensive side of the ball? Very different second half than we saw in the first half. Yeah, Mark, the first half, we, we saw a defense out there that uh, didn't have any confidence at all. It just looked like they were playing catch-up, and they, they, they were out of sorts. And uh, that's why the score got to – what it did, they gave up some big plays. Then they shot themselves in the foot on special teams. Mm -hmm. And so, it, uh, but at halftime, it looked like, and I want to give O'Meara and Miller the credit because what he did as we came out the second half seemed to spark everybody. I don't know what really happened, but that's from our viewpoint, that's what it looked like. That all of a sudden this young man's performance inspired everybody on that football team to play better. You coached a lot of offense and quarterbacks over your career. Did you enjoy watching those two guys, Caleb Williams, oh, Shadur yeah. Sanders? Oh, yeah. I absolutely do. Yeah. And I love watching them go through their checks, and I love having, watching them take control and throw. I, I like the different arm angles. I like all that. Although I used to say, no, 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 and then, oh, good play, because <laughs> he completed it. So, uh, but, yeah, I love watching guys play like that. I mean, you complete 60 passes in a, in a day. Like those two guys Awful did impressive. off of 85 throws. Yeah. My gosh, all those yards. Shadur ends up with 50 some yards rushing. Do you think that's going to be something that'll be consistent, or was it just specific? And, and no, I think it's got to be. Yeah. I, I think that's the answer to sacks. 
Yeah. It's the fact that he can run. Right. And uh, you, you're just going to have to take the chance. I, I, I know they wanted to avoid those particular moments and put him in that situation, but you got to do it. You, you see what it does when, he, when it happens. Buffs did give up three sacks today, but you know, you're know you dealing with one of the teams. In fact, they were number one in the country. USC wasn't sexy at 16 coming in. That's Coach Gary Barnett. Buffalo's fall, 48-41 to USC. Great college football game here at Folsom Field. We're going to talk with a sideline reporter, Annie Lindell, coming up next.